Yeah. 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 man. That's all. Uh, all right. Welcome to the Man Show. Doug and I are in our second season here, and I think we're just starting to hit our stride. We're working yeah. it out. I, honestly, the first season was a little shaky. I yeah. couldn't get through a sentence without stuttering. Yeah, I couldn't get it through an episode without getting high. Yeah, it was a problem. Uh, <laughs> kind of a problem. <laughs> we're on, we're on the, uh, what do they call it, straight edge? Straight, yeah, yeah, straight edge. We, straight they edge. had to do an intervention on us. They give us fake beer, and then we take it back, and we trade it with the uh, prop guy for real beer. <laughs> Com Comedy Central actually did some research, and they discovered that a huge portion of our audience is actually in prison. Yeah, That's apparently <laughs> inmates, they, they like to watch our show while they pull balloons full of heroin out of their ass. It's a hobby. Uh. Don't judge. So to boost the ratings, the network uh, considered changing the format. Here's what it would have looked like. Next up in our ways not to get raped in prison. Become someone's bitch. Yeah. That way it's consensual. And our last way not to get raped in prison, get ass acne. That'll stop about 90% of the people. But it'll make that other 10% way hornier. And unfortunately, that's the 10% whose penises are addicted to rape. Oh, you know what that means? Almost lights out. It's time to do our toast. You know how it goes. Ass rape's funny when it's not you. Ass rape's funny when it's not you. Did I look a little higher when we were doing that? I could be arrested just for that tape. We had a bunch of inmates watch that show, and half of them thought it was hilarious. The other half didn't find prison rape so funny. At all. <laughs> Lucky for us, we have another group of fans that outnumbers even the convicts, and that's deadbeat dads. Huge demographic for us, the deadbeat dads. <laughs> now it's fun stuff to do for deadbeat dads on Father's Day. First up, try going to a strip club alone. You know what else is fun on Father's Day? Go outside and play catch with yourself. Also, you can read yourself a story. Or sit down and teach yourself where babies come from. Or get some tape and put the pictures of your kid back together again. That's a little creepy. That was actually a fun show to do. It almost made me want to have a kid just so I could abandon him. You know, and then we thought, why not latch on to one of the hottest trends going? If I live a thousand years, I'll never understand altar boys. But the worst is when you get a nice smooth altar boy back to the confessional, possibly a Spaniard, and you get the candles lit, the mood set, all of a sudden his big fat smelly altar boy friend <laughs> comes banging at the door with yet a, another question about Leviticus. Thanks for the frock block, fatty. Get out of here. <laughs> well, that's all for the Man of the Cloth show this week. And now, confused crying boys on trampolines. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the cops confiscated our footage of altar boys on trampolines, except for the tape Doug kept. I kept a few stills, mostly, black and whites. Slides. The next format is uh, something we tried uh, that you see all over TV now. Today on the Game Man Show, we talk about bottoms. That's right, bottoms. The guys who are always on the bottom in bed, not like us tops. Top, 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 You know what I hate about uh, bottoms is they're always asking if they can be on top. It's like, dude, you're a bottom. Hello, bottom. <laughs> you know what I say when a bottom asks me if he can be on top? I'm like, sure, have fun being on top of air, because I'm out of there. Coming up, top ovations. But first, we thought it'd be funny to send the man show boy to a Nambla convention. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get out of that outfit. It was so uncomfortable. Uh, that pink goofy hat was a little too much there. Really? I thought it worked for you. Really? Yeah, it really make your hips look slim. I thought the uh, that shirt kind of made your, your nipples show. <laughs> it made them stand out. Cool. All right. We're going to pay some bills and we'll be right back with more Man Show. <laughs> Listen, 
no matter what happens, we're in this together. I'm not pregnant. Oh, thank God. Close call. Worry that your girlfriend might be pregnant? Well, get peace of mind with the negative home pregnancy test. The test that always comes up negative. To get the real results, just pull off the test's faceplate. A positive result will send a message to our computers at an undisclosed location in North America. We'll immediately get to work helping you relocate and change your identity. All before she starts showing. I don't know what it is, but I've been craving ice cream lately. Uh, you can stand to gain a few pounds, baby. In the old days when you got a girl pregnant, you had to drop everything and hightail it out of town on a moment's notice. But the negative home pregnancy test gives you time to close your bank account, pack properly, and even get your deposit back on your apartment. Also, we'll refer you to a doctor who specializes in facial reconstruction surgery. The negative home pregnancy test assures you that when the blessed event occurs, you're right where you want to be. The negative home pregnancy test, because responsibility just isn't for everyone. Tonight, we'll discover America's next big porn star. So who ordered the big 10-inch meat stick? I did. But where's my nut sauce? It's right here. I put it inside the meat stick. Welcome to Next Big Star! Tonight, we'll discover America's next big porn star. During the last few weeks, we've gone through thousands of audition tapes. I have sex with anything, and I can do anything with my body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh. oh, you like that, huh? You, oh, you whore! You're a whore! Oh, you crazy whore! Ah. Mom! Mom, I'm taping! Come on! Oh. Our judges have selected two finalists, and they are Dan and Gage, who will be our next big star! To meet you. Gentlemen, great to have you here tonight. Thank you. One of you is going to be our next big star, and you're going to go backstage to make your first porn movie. The winner's fate is in the hands of these celebrity judges, man show co-host and porn aficionado, Doug Stanhope. <laughs> next to him is our resident porn critic, Doug's mom. You know, she might be from a different generation, but she tells me it still is as the day Doug was born. And finally, the guy who got fired from American Idol, Brian Dunkelman. Thank you. You know, Joe, actually, I quit. Screw that show. It'll never be as big without me. Okay, before we start, you'll both be given a porn name. Gage, from yes, here forth, you'll be known as Count Cucula. Right. Yeah, baby. And Dan, you are now known as HR and Stuff. Yeah. Outstanding. Let's begin. You know, the most difficult thing about being a porn star isn't the marathon sex. It's trying to remember your dialogue while you're in a coke haze. <laughs> Assisting you in this scene is adult film star Kelly Erickson. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby! <sighs> Places, please, porn stars. <sighs> I remember my first big break into porn. The way she screamed when she found those hidden cameras. <laughs> So who ordered the big 10-inch meat stick? 
I did. But where's my nut sauce? It's right here. I put it inside the meat stick. Where are my fries? I forgot them. How can I make it up to you? Mm, dance for me. Enough of that. This is a family show. Good job. Let's see how our judges thought about it. Doug's mom. That certainly didn't turn me on, but uh, Dunkelman here is uh, a rock. All right. All right, HR and stuff. It's your turn now. If he does well, this could be his first step towards getting herpes. Hi, I'm here from V-Stick Cable. Sorry I'm late, I was having lunch at Johnny Meat Sticks. I understand you don't want to rush when you're swallowing meat stick. I know, I know, but when I have appointments after lunch, it just takes so long and hard to You can make it up to me, though. Let's see you dance. Mm, sexier. Mm, I'm getting hot. Come over here and give me a dirty Sanchez. Yeah! Enough of that. Fantastic. Fantastic work. I, I like, Judges, what I, do you think? I liked your work a lot. I liked your moves at the end there. It was uh, like dance fever, or the kind of fever you get from an Ebola monkey. <laughs> okay, now the dexterity challenge. As a porn star, your body needs to accommodate many different positions. Let's go over to the bed, sir. Take your spot by the bed. Oh, baby. You'll be judged on originality and overall artistic filth. Are you ready, Count Chicula? Bring it on. Get on it, baby, and action. Missionary position. 69, quickly, quickly. Freestyle! Good job, sir. Good job. Excellent work. Come on over. All right, round right, of applause for this gentleman. Good work. Some good moves there, fella. You know what? Watching that, it reminds me of the time I walked into the green room at American Idol and interrupted Simon Cowell and Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> All right, HR and stuff, as often happens in the world of porn, you'll be getting sloppy seconds from someone soiled just moments ago. Come on over, big fella. All righty. Take your place by the bed. And action! Girl on top, quickly! Girl on top, girl! You're not a girl! Flip it over! Good boy. Reverse cowgirl, reverse cowgirl! And ready, freestyle, freestyle! <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> Doug's mom. I never thought I would hear myself saying this, but somebody from the Taliban, please come up and gouge my eyes out. <laughs> All right, judges, reveal your selections and tell us who's our next big star. For me, it was a no-brainer. I'm going with HR and stuff. HR and stuff. <laughs> Doug's mom. HR and stuff and Dungleman. <laughs> Brian Dungleman. Well, with Count a quick decision for HR and stuff. Congratulations. Oh yeah. Oh, Count. I'm sorry, but I gotta send you out of here, you big pervert. <laughs> HR and stuff, you're gonna head off to the backstage to film your very first porn film. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna get to see that video at the end of the show, so stick around. I'd also like to thank our judges, Doug Stanhope, 
Doug's mom and Thanks, Brian man. Dunkelman, you're fired. <laughs> Stay tuned. You know what you learn in boot camp? You learn that there's no I in juggy. One day I want to walk down the street and have somebody point at me and say, there goes the greatest juggy I ever saw. So what's the most demanding job in the world? Is it soldier, surgeon, astronaut? No, it's juggy. And we are proud of our girls. We are. Mm. So every year... Every year we make these girls go through juggy boot camp to make sure they're up for the monumental task. They say the truly great juggies make all the juggies around them better. You know what you learn in boot camp? You learn that there's no I in juggy. The key to being a juggy is just don't think too much. It's gonna be amazing one day to sit down with my grandchildren and say, your grandma, she used to be a juggy. During the 2004 Juggy Boot Camp, Prospective Juggy Tandy Carlisle was killed during the Juggy Pie Eating Test. She was a 14th Juggy Law since a pie eating test was instituted in 1995. Some say it's coincidence, while others are calling it the Juggy Jinx. This film is dedicated to the two million Cambodians who died in the killing fields. You know, they launched the uh, Juggy into space in 1964. Do you know that? No, dude, that was a monkey. <laughs> that monkey lied about being a Juggy. Yeah. I hope you wore a rubber. Oh, around, Long Man Show, coming up! It's time to introduce you to the world's newest porn superstar. Right he won here. our contest earlier tonight, and here right now we have the premiere of his debut video. <laughs> After looking at the tape, we realized there just wasn't enough sexual heat between you and Kelly Erickson. Did someone order an extra large? So we decided to re-edit the film. It must have been my husband. And go a different way with it. I believe that order is for me. Hey, didn't I order a slice of ass? Oh, yeah. Oh, the best. The best. That is the most amazing sex I've ever had. So I can definitely tell this wasn't your first time. I can go masturbate. Good night, everyone. And now, girls.